Hi everybody, it's Matt from Matt Chris's Games. Today I'm going to be doing another video with my dad. Hello. And today we're going to be playing with this, this booster battle pack. And it says this is a two player game. And that's what we're going to be doing. A two player game. Sounds good. So it's kind of like Pack Wars, but with something else. Well, this is kind of like Magic's official Pack Wars pack. So what you get in here are two pre-constructed decks of a random color, and then two packs. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you open the pack, you find some cards that work with the, the deck you got, mix them together, and then you play a normal game of Magic. Um, so there's not too many rules differences. Um, so, um, you know, the week coming up, the new set will be coming out, the mm -hmm. Hour, Hour of Devastation. Devastation. Really excited to see that. I'm actually um, really excited. I want to make my green, white, lifeline cats. So I figured for one no. last hurrah, we'll give this game a try. So, are you ready? Sure! Alright. So, I will get this open, and Dad, would you like to explain the rules if they haven't seen our previous Pack Wars episodes? Well, these aren't like Pack Wars, so the rules aren't any different. Oh, good point. Duh. Except for the I'm so used opening to the, the opening, I'm so used to doing Pack Wars mm -hmm. that we don't, so we don't actually have, we actually have real lands. Real. There are lands in this box, yes. This is a complete game of magic Wait, that you can play with your friends. two sets, top or bottom? Oh, this That's... one or the other one? Um, well, I'll take this set then. Okay. I don't know what this set is. Neither do I. Alright. So I'll take her. Oh, you took the girl with cat ears. Oh, I'm sorry. So, the way we played it last time, we found it worked really well was when we opened the pack, we took the cards we wanted out of it, and then once we both picked some cards, we traded them, and then we were able to look in the other oh. packs. So do you want to do that this time? So we kind of like trade the packs, see if they have something we need? Yeah, so okay. once I take anything out that I need, then I'll give you the pack left over, and then you can look through that Wait, as well. How many cards are we allowed to take? I think we said we were allowed to put up to five cards. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh. From the pack into the pre-constructed deck. So oh. I'm going to check to see what color I got. I already looked. Alright. So I'm going to open up my right. pack. And I'm going to see if there's anything that's oh, good I, for this set. Anything that's thing good is, for this pre-constructed deck. I was just about to see a tip, but mm -hmm. now that I'm not going to say it anymore. Hmm. Ooh, that might be good. Are they multicolored? I don't think so. I'm going to look at my deck really quickly just to That's see. That's fine. It's a good idea. I'll look at my deck too. They are single colored. They are single colored? Yes. Alright. Oh, you I already know I what, I, what I have. So. You do? I you do? did. You looked, didn't you? Not really. Yeah, mine's mo mo uh, mono colored too. So, I'm going to look and see. Are there any cards in here that I want to take? I think I want to take these. Um, hmm. I actually kind of like all these cards. I'm, I'm going to take go that. To take sort of yours. Alright, so here, I'll give you my pack. I'm deciding if I just, just take two random colors and hope you don't recall not your colors. I'm not. Alright. Let's see. I should have taken one of the cards out of the pack. Hmm. And do lands count as your, if, you, if you pick a card? Uh, yeah. I'm oh, yeah. Oh, they do. Oh, they do. Then here, this is the land. The land. Oh. Oh, you mean just the basic land? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know you counted that. Well, there's basic lands in the deck. You don't need to use those. All right. I think I know which five I'm going to take. Same here. So I'm going to take these, and I'm going to shuffle them into my uh, pre-constructed deck. The thing is, these are M17. <gasps> oh, I just realized something. What? They're standard legal. I don't think we got a green one. Mm, I can't because remember telling you. Because if there's a green one, mm -hmm. there's a card in there I need. For what my is that? standard deck, the cat. Oh, the uh, stalking tiger? Yes. Yeah, there's a stalking tiger that comes in the pre-constructed decks that uh, it's actually hasn't been reprinted in a long time. Uh, I was asking around to see if anybody had a copy, 
Pretty, nobody, nobody does. It's pretty good. It's a green and three more for three three tiger, for a cat, and it says you can, it can only be blocked. It can't be blocked by more than one creature. Seems okay. And I can make it even more powerful with my other cats. Yeah, a little upset about that. Here we don't have any. We have to buy another one of these just to see like, if <laughs> it's green. If you didn't get green, then it was. I think I looked up the price of the stalking tiger online. It was like 30, 30 cents. cents. So I think I'd rather buy four of those from a store than spend ten dollars on a. I know. I'm just saying. I mean, if we ever do play this again, maybe you'll get lucky with that. But hopefully. I don't know if they're making an hour of devastation one. I don't think they did no. when. Um, uh, no, Kaladesh. Did they have one for Kaladesh? I, I'm not I sure. Think so. uh, yeah, I don't not think sure. we've got that one. But I know we played the Shadows Over Innistrad yes, one, did. and there will be a link to that video in the description below. Definitely go check that out. It was a lot of fun. Right, oh. So do you want to roll for high? Ten. Ten. That's pretty good. Eleven. Two. Hey guys. Two. All right, so you get to choose if you want to draw first. You know what? I'm feeling very, very generous today. Yeah? You can be on the draw. Oh, I'll be on the draw? Yeah. Six, I'm seven. I'm going to allow that. You're welcome. All right. Here we are. Now, with this kind of deck, because we know what's basically in the deck, uh, we can mulligan if we yeah. don't like what we got. So... Mm, I'll try this. Uh, I think I'm actually going to mulligan. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I'll go to six and I'll get a scry. Okay. Yeah, see, if I was on the play, I might have kept that, but on the draw, nah. I want a better hand to yeah. start off with. I know how you feel. Wasn't aggressive enough to keep. All right. So I'll draw six. Like oh, you want to cut? Oh, I don't think we cut before. Eh, it's fine. <clears throat> it's fine. It's I fine. trust you. You do? About as far as I can throw you. Six. Alright, so let's see what we got. I think this is better. Yeah. I'm okay. definitely going to keep this hand. I'm going to scry. Um, hmm. That's a good question. I'm actually going to keep that on the top. Okay. Here we go. Go. Good luck. Good luck to you too. So I'll keep that card off the top. I'll play a swamp and pass. So you're on you're on mountains. You're, you're on, on swamps and you're black. Mm-hmm. Wait, this is funny. <clears throat> we're playing with a red mat and I'm wearing a red shirt. <laughs> I'm playing with the blue mat and I'm playing black cards. So with a blue shirt. With a blue shirt. The thing is before we started the video. We just picked a mat and I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, eh, I'll pick Tondra. It turned out I'm wearing a red shirt and Dad's using the Jace mat and he's wearing a blue shirt. Alright, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Land and I'll pass. Oh, sweet. Two. Um, Alright, I'll take two. It is a 3-3 three, three and it has to attack each combat. Oh, okay. My turn? So it's going to attack on your combat too. I wish. Alright, so let's see. I know I gave you some pretty good stuff out of my pack. Uh, da -da. I'll play the Cursed Minotaur. Mm -hmm. He's a 3-2 with Menace. Yep. So it can only be blocked by two or more creatures. Okay. I'll pass. Good combat. Okay. Five. Um, you know what? I'll take five. Okay. I'm thirteen. I'm a thirteen. Terror at the fairgrounds. It is a five-two. Five two. Uh, okay. Go. Let's see. This is gonna hurt. Hmm. 
play this. This is the Cartouche of Ambition. Mm -hmm. uh, when it enters the battlefield, I can put a minus one, minus one on a target creature. So put on him. He gets plus one, plus one, and a lifelink to him. Ew. As long Forever. as he's uh, yeah. enchanted. Uh, and I'll go to combat. And I'll swing at you for four. Take four. And I will gain four from the lifelink. And I'll pass turn. It seems good now, doesn't it? Go to combat? Sure. Eight. Alright, I'll take eight. Okay. Need a pack? It's a three, four. Okay. Go. So now the four life I'm getting from his lifelink isn't really uh No. Like, if you attack, uh -huh. I mean, you'll still be alive, which will be down to two. Hmm. Not a ton of good options here. I think. Play Splendid Agony and distribute two minus one minus one counters. Card. I was debating <laughs> if I should give it to you or not. Well, maybe you shouldn't have. But you did. Combat? Four? And I'll gain four? And I'll pass. Take six. Down to seven? Yep. I'll play another front line rebel. Uh, Go. The rebels. Alright. Draw. What do we got here? Hmm. I think we'll play four mana for a blood hunter bat. It's flying, and when it enters the battlefield, target player loses two life, and I gain two life. So that's kind of like lifelink, right? Mm. Hmm. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing for four. Menace. Thinking. Alright, so you take six. four. I will need four. I'll pass. Trust me, guys, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Go to combat. Okay. Fine. I'll lock one. Take okay. six. six. Go to seven. Yep. This will die. Go. Go? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I like that or not. Oh. Alright, we're going to tap four. <clears throat> I'm going to play the Grave Digger. Mm -hmm. And when he enters the battlefield, I can return target creature card from my graveyard to my hand. Okay. So I'll bring back the Blood Hunter bat. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll... I'm in combat. Yes. I'm going to swing for 
four. Thank you. It's a tough decision. Okay. You can okay. take four. I'll gain four. Mm -hmm. And I will pass. Shock grave digger. All right. Shock grave digger is shocked. Nine. I'll take nine. Shock you. <laughs> I was holding up the entire time. Uh, so I didn't want to do it Minotaur. Well, that's why I brought the Bullet Hunter bat back so I could get. If you lose two life, I you win! Two life. You win. What was your rare? What was my rare? I think the rare is always oh, yeah. Nightmare. In my pack. Uh, it was uh, co Commit to Memory. Commit to memory. Uh, what was your rare? Because it's not in here. Yeah, it was actually red. Oh, really? Yeah. Lucky you. Didn't get it, though. My rare was Shiv and Dragon. Oh. That's pretty good. Well, that um, comes in the pack, the right? The one I pulled was Hazard's Favor. Oh, nice. That would have been nice to get. I actually built a deck around that with, um... It has, like, a, it has Fling and it has, like, 14 whoa. effects that say take control of target opponent's creature. So what I do is I take control of their creature, then with Hazard's Favor, it the says, so. the beginning of combat, you give a creature plus 2 plus 0, and then you sacrifice it at the end of your turn. So basically, you steal their creature, Kill it. you pump it up, you hit them in the face, and then you murder them. You moiter it. So murder them. it's a fun deck, but it completely dies against anything that doesn't play creatures. So you kill them with their own creature. <laughs> basically. Yep. And talking about it, here you go. Hey, there's a fling. It's a minotaur. Yeah. My other rare was a Sengir vampire, it's and he's one of the oldest. Oh, he's not a rare. But he was a rare. Well, what was the rare? Nightmare. In... Oh, it was nightmare. That's right. Which is actually really good because if you play that in a horse deck in standard, yeah, he with is the, actually um, horses. the Crested Sun Mare. Yes, indestructible. Yep, he's a, a nightmare horse with flying, and his power and toughness are equal to the number of swamps you control. So at least just play one swamp, and there you go. Well, it becomes like a 1 1. But you if have you to have. two because it's black, black, and. Or is it just one black? Well, there's, uh, I think also the, the new cycling land is black. So you can uh, play that as a dual land if you're going to play, I don't know, blue-black zombies or black-white zombies. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of cards that I wanted to pull out of my deck, but I didn't. But I'm fine with what I pulled. All right. So good well, game. I had a lot of fun. Good game. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And if you enjoy this video, please... Share it to friends. I... I have a Twitter account, it's Matt, Tw Matt Reviews All, and I have a Facebook account, it's Matt Chris's Games, and if And if you like watching Matt play, you can check out his new Twitch stream at Matt, Matt Crush's Chris's Twitch, Twitch, where I play some Overwatch and some other games. I yep. know you guys have a great time. So definitely go check that out, subscribe, and watch our Twitter feed to see when uh, new, new streams are going live. Yep. We haven't and quite set a schedule yet, but that'll be coming shortly, and uh, look forward to that. If you and if you enjoy it, no, and if you want to send me some FCBM or fan mail, give me an email at macrosgames at gmail.com, and, and stay tuned for more videos. And bye. bye.